Well, boys, I went and bought me a, one of the manual Harbor Freight manual tire changers. And I, uh, first thing I done was when I got home, I got this hydraulic table and I mounted it to it so I can make my work height comfortable wherever I choose to, to put it. But I, it just two bolts, it's not mounted at the moment, but two bolts mount that down. And uh, I started trying to take, break them ATV beads down and, and it was just trying to bend everything. They got a double bead on them ATV beads and they're tough. Get uh, this thing here is supposed to go in here and then this attaches to it. And then you, and you use this in here, kind of like I got to, for leverage. But this thing was trying to bend and this thing was trying to bend. So I ended up putting a gusset in here and that, that took care of that. But this thing had a 90 on it and it would not stay in the bead. It just kept popping off. So I took and, and beat the tar out of it and got it concave, just a little concave this way and a little concave this way. Now it'll stay in there on that bead. And then I took and welded this, this piece here that was supposed to go there and made me a, a rack for my tire iron, I guess you call it. And in place of that, I got a about a four foot pipe and it's a lot thicker walled, it's a lot stronger. And drilled the hose in it, got it where I can put it here and, and then remount this back on there and break beads and it, it'll break the beads, I mean, get with it now. But I uh, took and welded a pipe on here to mount this on so that all this can be in a little area and put in the corner of the garage and not take up much room. But when I was breaking those beads, those ATV beads, I was pushing down on that so hard with all this that it was trying to break, well, bend everything. All this was trying to come apart and it was leaning the tower back. It was really working over, so I beat it all back in place and welded everything I could here. And then uh, took and made a gusset and welded it on and that stopped all that. That, that helped a bunch. And then I, uh, I'll let this down a little more. I took and made a couple of rubbers there that you can put your wheel on. These will be out of the way. They don't always stay on there while you're doing tires. Anyhow, you put your wheel on and put this back on top of the wheel so so that this thing doesn't scratch it. And then put it in, it on top. You're good to go. But that's my improvements and they have helped a ton. I can actually use this thing now.